Hello, my name is Ben Kavanagh and it is the 2nd of February, is it? It is the 2nd of February and it is day two of quarantine in the world. Day one was grand, absolutely no complaints. Uh, everyone has just been so helpful. All the Arrow Park staff, all the NHS staff that are here now, everyone that helped us to get here, everyone's just been so helpful and we're all so thankful for it. Um, we have a constant supply of food coming in. I just had breakfast there maybe an hour ago. I think I, I took a video of it. Um, we're, we're not going hungry. We're not bored. We can socialize with each other if we want. I had a game of pool yesterday. Um, there was foot, there was the rugby on in the Six Nations in the communal area. So Ireland won. That's good. If anyone feels sick at any point, we can message through our phones and the doctor will come to our room and check us, see how we're doing. As of right now, as far as I know, we're all healthy, but uh, I can't speak for everyone. People can stay in their room for the entire two weeks if they want, but like I said, you can go out and socialize to the communal area if you feel like it. Um, but if you do, you take the right precautions, you know, you wear your, your mask and if oh, when I was playing pool we were wearing gloves as well, just so we don't touch anything by accident. There are families here, I just saw, just as I was getting some water there, I saw one of the, one of the young kids, he was just whacking balls back and forth on the um, pool table. There are, I think, 11 more people on the way, people that couldn't make the first flight are on the way now. Um, and then I think they'll join us. So hopefully, again, same story with them. In the t two weeks for them, we'll, they'll get out and we'll all be healthy and get back into the public. As for the people who are still in Wuhan, my friends and people I know, I, we can only hope that they still take the right precautions, only go out when necessary, and hopefully they'll be all right too. I'm sure if I was still there, I'd be thinking the same thing, you know. When you're in the situation, you don't, you try your best not to panic. So when you uh, look at the situation from further afield, it, it might look worse than it feels when you're in it, but they're there, they know how to cope, and let's hope they, they're okay in the end. Everyone here that's currently here and everyone that got us here, everyone did just such an amazing job. I can't imagine how tired some of them were. Some of them flew over to Wuhan and then came back with us, and the, we just we're just so grateful we can't express how thankful we are. I don't, I don't know how to repay that debt. That's a huge thing to do and we are so thankful. Everyone has been fantastic. Obviously we could only bring a 15 kg hand luggage with us. So just basically a big bit of hand luggage. So this, what I'm wearing right now is, has been given to me because I only have so many clothes and two weeks is a long time. So they really do, they pro they've provided everything we need, towels and toiletries and just so many things. Every room has a TV for entertainment just so we don't go in crazy. But uh, even then, if you do feel yourself getting a bit, you know, cabin fever, you can walk out, you can go into, there's a little courtyard. The, the building is shaped like a V, so you can go into the little courtyard just to fresh air or cigarette or whatever you want. So. We're doing okay. It's only day two, but so far it's been it's been fantastic. I mean, everyone's been fantastic. I mean, the situation isn't fantastic, but the way everyone's dealing with it is has been fantastic. People really are keeping themselves to themselves. They're, you see fairly the same bunch, I'd say maybe 20, in the communal area throughout the day. No one's there all day. Everyone goes to their rooms, but it doesn't feel like there's 83 of us. You know, you see people come down to get food at breakfast, lunch and dinner and then they just kind of take it away and you don't see them again. So people are being very cautious. Some people are. Obviously, I've played pool, so I'm not being as cautious as I can be. But, you know, you just... Now that you have the option to see other people in real life, you kind of want to take it. But other people are being more cautious than me. Other, other people are just staying in their rooms the entire time. And that's... Probably for the best, you know. That's proper self-isolation in quarantine. So hopefully they're grand and at the end of the two weeks we're all grand and we can all go out. I was chatting yesterday about how we feel 
to be here and in the other videos I've always said I was in two minds about coming I feel like we made the correct decision but everyone here has left something behind like I said even if it's just a material thing but like I was there for two years I know other people who've been there for almost a decade or longer they have families they have you know their entire lives are there so it's weird it's the weirdest thing is probably not knowing when we can go back to our lives but I think, I can't speak for everyone, but I think we made the direct, the correct decision to get out when we did. Because when we were on the plane, the WHO declared the public health emergency, so one of the questions people ask me is, are the health professionals here worried about getting the virus? If they are worried, they're not showing it at all. By the way, I don't know if you can hear that, they're just uh, cleaning the, the outside of the building. That's, um, alright, I'll show you. We're doing it. There you go. Just cleaning the outside. Oh, will I be able to put that back? Yeah. Uh, that's not... I thought maybe earlier that was because we're here, but apparently that was just scheduled anyway. That, that That's not because of us. Apparently that was always going to happen. Um, but yeah, someone asked me, how do the medical professionals... How are they feeling about being with us? You know, the people who are in Wuhan. And... They, like I've said, they have been fantastic. They have really been amazing. Um, they don't, nobody seems worried. Obviously everyone's wearing a mask and all the time. So we're all doing the right things to not spread it if any of us are infected, but it's only day two. No way to know yet, but I think we'll be okay, hopefully. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say for now. Um, okay, yeah, thanks very much. Just one final thank you to everyone who's been messaging me personally and to all the comments on YouTube. Everyone's just been so friendly. And another thank you to all the staff here at Arrow Park and the NHS and the, the cabin crew. Just everyone there. We've encountered so many people in the last three days. And the, there's no way we can thank you for what you've done. But we are so thankful. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. We really appreciate it. In our time of need, people really stepped up and we're so thankful. So thank you for that.